me, Hetty, and I'm going to show you an update to a video. Actually, it's my number one video I've ever made, and it's my Southern Style Green Beans. I'm making these for my husband's Christmas party, and I thought I would just take the opportunity to update this video. And I also wanted to show you, uh, I'm using frozen green beans, okay? These are pretty ones. I've already gone through them, uh, looking for stems and anything like that, just like I would do. For fresh ones but the store didn't have any pretty fresh ones uh, you know I'm sure it's the time of the year or whatever but these are gorgeous I've never had a problem with these kind and I, I've been using them for years so as usual I always have what you need listed below for the actual recipe I am doubling the recipe so you know I'll have the correct amounts for about uh, two pounds of green beans down below okay so we're gonna get started and what I've got here is I've got 10 pieces of bacon and I have just taken my kitchen shears and uh, chopped them up, minced them up. And we're going to get this going because I want to get my bacon almost cooked all the way, not quite. And then we'll saute. I've got two sweet onions minced up as well. Doesn't take a whole lot to make these. They're just really good though. And evidently a lot of people love them. My lighting was really bad in the early video. It was one of the very first videos I ever made and my lighting wasn't right or any of that other stuff. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. Um, to cut down on time, I'm going to get this going and when it's almost done, I'll come back. Okay. So let me saute this off or get it almost cooked all the way, not quite, my bacon rather, not saute, but uh, let me fry this up and we'll come back and add the onions in, okay? We'll be back. Okay, everybody, it's been, oh, slightly less than 10 minutes, uh, and I just wanted to show you, I'm straining off my bacon here, and I did reserve some of the grease in case I want to add a little bit, but what I did is I added, oh, about two tablespoons to the pan back, okay? Uh, but I did strain out the bacon, as you can see, and cook down nicely. And now I'm just going to go ahead and add in my couple of minced onions. You cut them how you like them. I like my mince. Get that flavor a little bit all throughout. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just saute off these onions. And for the flavor, see, I, that's why I'm using the bacon grease and I'm not using my sunflower oil or anything like that. So, again, through the magic of YouTube, instead of boring you while I sit here and blab and stir onions, I'm going to cut away again until these are right where I'm done, okay? It won't be a few minutes, okay? We'll be back. Alrighty, I did a pan change because this is my small stock pot. And what I've got here is... Uh, I've added my onions, and what I'm going to add next in, here's my bacon, my crumbled bacon. Give that a little stir. And when we cook these, we're going to cook them low and slow. We're not trying to, we're going to bring them up to a boil, and then we're going to cut them down. Just let them cook a long time. Okay, so here's our bacon and onion. And here is our spice dump. I've got a couple cloves worth of minced garlic just from a jar. I've got a teaspoon and a half of salt, a teaspoon of pepper, and a teaspoon of my Cajun seasoning. Yes, I do make my own Cajun seasoning. If you want to know, I'll put a link below, okay? So I'm going to do my spice dump. Some of that garlic, minced garlic juice got on my salt. That's all right. All right. Let me give that a good little stir. And now I'm going to start adding in, and I watered my green beans. You don't have to. I always just have a habit of rinsing everything off anyway, whether it's frozen or not. I give it a little rinse, and I'm going to just start adding them in. These are going to cook way down, so your pot might seem really full. I'm going to get them in here. Now, this is four pounds I'm doing. Remember, you, you probably do... Two pounds, I would imagine. And I'll have the ingredients for two pounds worth below. And if you want to do just one pound, then you know you'll have to just cut that in half even. 
so almost got all these little green beans in here. Come back here, guy. Okay? All right. Move that out of the way. And the only other thing we're going to do, my hands are clean, folks, is I've got about, oh, seven and a half cups of chicken broth. I'm going to pour this in here. Okay, everybody, I'm sorry about that. I forgot to turn the phone off to reject calls while I was recording, but anyway, no big deal. Uh, I just stirred that up, and here's the trick. You're gonna put it, bring it up to a boil, which is what I'm gonna do, and as soon as it comes up to a boil, we're gonna cut it down. If you can regulate your temperature approximately in between 190 and 200, you just keep checking it. A simmer is not a fast bubbling. It's a bubble once in a couple of seconds or so, okay? And that's what we want to do. We're going to cook this really slow. So I'm going to put a lid on this. And once again, through the magic of YouTube, when we come back, these will be done. We'll be back. Okay, everybody. It's been about an hour and a half. I might let these go a little longer, but for all facts and purposes, they're done. I'm probably going to simmer a little longer with the lid off, so this will start absorb it down a little bit the juice which there's nothing wrong with this juice it's just uh i usually take the lid off for the last 45 minutes to an hour and i did not do that but anyway uh i'm gonna simmer this some more but these are done as you can see and they taste great so i hope you enjoyed this i hope you'll try this and i hope you enjoyed this updated video i'll see you next time bye bye